I also met, we also met Brian Doherty and um, Calvin Brand and we became very friendly with Brian Doherty and so we became terribly enthusiastic of course and not only for that but because that's what we grew up with you see and uh, uh, Brian was just amazing uh, he had a deep knowledge of theater he had written at least two plays for Broadway that were performed and um, uh, uh, very pleasant, very knowledgeable, and Calvin Rand, of course, provided money that was needed, you see. And um, so right from the beginning, it was not organized at all. There were a few people who were helping landing pieces of furniture, the MOOCs lent some furniture, you know, just for the performance and so on. And did various things, but um, it it wasn't the guild, uh, the women's committee, as it was then, was not existing. It was just a few ladies helping here and there, and so on, a few men, and so on. And then um, they decided uh, now it's time. We need more help, and we need to be organized. And um, there was practically no staff in those days, you see. And they asked, Betty Mitchell, I was one whom she asked, um, and um, uh, Nancy Quinn was also quite involved, uh, would I like to join them? And I said, well, I'd love it. So I remember we had a lunch at the Open Inn, and they explained to us what it's all about and so on, and... Um, from then on in it started rolling and again the second year they asked me on the executive. Unfortunately then there was this um, problem about the site. You have probably heard about it. I will be brief about it. Um, it was something to do with the golf club would have had to move to where the theatre is and uh, the theater would be by the water, and some of the neighbors were not too thrilled to have the, uh, you know, the traffic and so on. And um, it became quite an issue. I even know that some friends fell out with each other, which was such a pity. And um, there were six of us, literally six of us, who stayed. And. Um, I remember there was an opening night. Our husbands were popping the champagne bottles. That was served before and after the play. And it was out at the Rand Estate. And um, we were selling the tickets. I was so busy till 2 in the morning. There was no one to relieve you, you know. But um, it, was, uh, it was a good night. And we were really busy. And uh, I then, and then this sort of got forgotten, you know. Some people came back to join many of them. Brian, yes, Brian was a theater man. He was actually a lawyer by profession and practiced in Niagara Falls. But uh, at one time he wrote even pieces for Broadway that were actually performed, very knowledgeable about theatre and determined to, because Shaw being the other playwright who had written enough plays to warrant a festival, to bring a festival to Niagara on the lake. And um, since he lived uh, in a part um, of buildings that actually belonged to the Rand State and he rented it from them, he got to know Calvin. And Calvin was able to provide funds that were are always needed when anything is being created. There was also uh, a third person, uh, an actress who came from New York to visit Brian and um, 
she was very enthusiastic. And then Jean Marsh was McClellan's current owner at this time was Marsh because he was the son. Or the, yeah, there was a daughter who married Mr. Marsh and he became the next owner. And um, she um, uh, got ve also very enthused and helped where she could, but the main thing was it all came from Brian. And I remember when um, Brian died, we had a, a lovely service for him in the theater, and Calvin was speaking, and he said, oh, he would call me at two in the morning and tell me, Calvin, you've got to listen to this. <laughs> he was so enthusiastic. And um, he was the guiding force, you see, without him. We couldn't have done it without Calvin because we needed funds. We couldn't have done it at all without Brian because he had the knowledge and he knew what to do. So actually, right from the uh, very start, the, the, these two men were desperately needed. Um, they had either the knowledge or the, the funds, and it needs both. And um, it, it was amazingly quick, basically, because we were still in the courthouse. When we came in 64, it was starting, and by 73, we had the opening of the big theater. And I remember standing behind Brian on the, on the uh, ground uh, breaking. Those were exciting times. And then for the opening, the Queen came with Prince Philip, Trudeau and his wife, Prime Minister Trudeau and his wife, and um, Indira Gandhi came from India.